Well, Troy, as of today, four of the six involved in those torture crimes have been sentenced, including Updike, the person who turned over the text messages from the Goon Squad group chat, along with Deadman, who was identified in court today as the ringleader. Fourth former Rankin County deputy who pleaded guilty to torturing Eddie Parker and Michael Jenkins was sentenced to 40 years in prison Wednesday as accounts of the horrific brutality of goon squad deputies afflicted the federal courtroom. Let this be a strict warning to all rogue police officers in the United States of America that you will not get light sentences, that you will not be let off easy. U.S. District Court Judge Tom Lee imposed the harshest sentence so far on ex-deputy Christian Deadman, saying he committed the most shocking, brutal, and cruel acts imaginable. Details of the nightmare beatings, torture, and sexual assaults back in January of 2023 unfolded for a second day as the victims came face to face with their abusers. For the first time this week, Eddie Parker spoke before the judge, giving his impact statement at Deadman's hearing. Christian Deadman who uh, Eddie described as the devil. And to see the devil get his due on this day, uh, we just have to say all glory to God. Despite his relatively young age, Deadman, while on stand, claimed that he was only able to rise to this position because he participated in this behavior, saying it was encouraged by management. And the only way that Mr. Deadman was promoted the only way that he able, uh, uh, was able to become an investigator at the age of 28 and have authority over other people was because he bought into the culture of violence. Deadman was also sentenced in the same proceeding of a crime related to a separate incident in December of 2022. Updike, the third former deputy, received a 17-year prison term Wednesday. At his sentencing, Updike's attorney pointed to Deadman as the, quote, guy who had this demented sexual perversion. Two other deputies, Elward and Middleton, learned their fates on Tuesday. Elward, who shot Jenkins in the mouth, was sentenced to 20 years. Middleton was sentenced to 17 and a half. I've lived in Mississippi 68 years and I've never seen justice like this. Melvin Jenkins, the father of one victim, thanked Judge Lee, saying that the sentence was unheard of in the state. The final two defendants, Hartfield and McAlpin, are said to be sentenced Thursday. In addition to their federal charges, the six defendants also face state charges for which they await sentencing. Now we have reached out to Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey following those statements that were made about management today in court. He says that he plans to release a statement sometime tomorrow. Live in Jackson, Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News.